Hey YouTube, this is Amanda again coming to you with another video on my favorite nail polishes and specifically um, what type of nail polishes you should wear, at least I tend to wear um, during each season and I'll try to give you um, a good color matches in an outfit that I think would go well with some of these colors. So of course it being March, I'm going to start off with spring because spring is my favorite season. Um, and I happen to have right now a spring inspired nail color on my fingernails. I did a test video and I apologize because right now I know that the color is not going to come out as accurate. Just know that um, the colors I show you now are a little bit washed out and they happen to be more vibrant. And the first thing I'll start off talking about, which is big this uh, spring, especially spring and summer, are kind of uh, pastel colors. So um, this is obviously a pastel color, and I'll show you a few other nail polishes that I have that I think are great pastel colors for this coming season, and also to keep up with the trend. So the first couple, I'll just grab a handful and show you. This is the one I'm wearing right now. It's a Wet n Wild. The label's kind of um, worn off, but it's this color, lilac. And this is actually not the original color. I took this, it was a white Wet n Wild um, shine nail polish, super cheap, like probably a dollar or two dollars. And what I did is mixed in a darker color, a darker purple. So I think it was white. And then I took a color like this, which has a little bit of sparkles in it. And it's like a dark kind of purple with hints of gold. And I mix it in, and that's a huge thing you can do if you don't want to go out and buy nail polishes, especially as trends change. One thing I would suggest doing is taking some of your favorite colors and buying like a cheap white like this. This is a Sally Hansen white. And then putting a few drops of any color you want, and that's a good way to make a pastel color. Other ones I've mixed together myself have been, this is another wet and wild one. It's kind of like a yellowy, greeny, mossy color. And again, it was another white, wet and wild, and I put a few drops of some random green and blue and yellow in here, and I kind of made my own custom color. And then this is the third one that I made my own custom color. It used to be a Revlon, it used to be a lighter version of this, like a mossy green, and I added a few drops of a green, which I actually just got rid of, but a green and a blue to make it more vibrant, because I kind of have this color, which is similar. So those are three examples of colors that I've made over the last couple of seasons um, that I made custom because I either didn't like the shade or wasn't dark enough or whatever it is um, and I just made the color I wanted. Another nice one that I actually bought is this other Sally Hansen um, and I love the instant dry. You guys have to look at this. The brush, this is a brand I'll keep on going back to over and over again. Sorry, I can't open that one because my hands... Are, um, I put lotion on them before I shot this video because no one wants ashy fingers when you're shooting a video. But check out this brush. And I know it might look an, a little intimidating because it's so big and fat and you're wondering, oh, how am I ever going to control such a thing? But the way, the thing about these brushes are two swipes and you've covered your whole nail. And you have pretty good control because the brush is so short, you have good control over where it goes and you don't have to really worry about it kind of meandering off of your... Um, the edge of your fingernail. So I do love Sally Hansen, this brand, as well as their bigger bottle. It's called Complete Salon. They have awesome brushes and I love them. I mean, it's probably not for everyone, but I happen to love this short, fat brush. So now moving on to summer, um, again, each season is my favorite season. You're going to hear me say that for each season. I think I have a reason why. I just love spring because it's exciting and it's summer because obviously you have the sun, you have the beach, you have um, all those wonderful things we think about and we associate with summer, um, sitting on the patio, socializing, all those things. So I also love summer and I have a plethora of colors and I'm not going to show you all of my colors, just some that I think are either trendy or that are just interesting colors and different brands and I describe the, the, the variations between different brands. So again, back to my Sally Hansen. This is another staple one I wore all summer long. Is this kind of bright, mm, I don't know what I would call it. It's not a neon pink, it's almost like a, almost a coral but more pink. And again, it has a fat brush, I can't open it, my hands, 
<laughs> are too slippery. Um, and this is good. I love Sally Hansen's brand. Again, her formulas are really thick. And the thick brush just makes it that much easier to either uh, do a quick retouch on a uh, color that you have. And if you, you know, you're going out and you're going, no, I haven't painted my nails. This brand is awesome for drying quickly, um, thick, quick applications. And basically you need one or two coats, if that. So favorite of mine. Um, and then again, you have kind of the, what is it? Cosmetic Artist. These brands are good too. I like these two um, and this brand specifically because they're really, really pigmented. You probably can't tell here, but the colors are just so vibrant and I love them. Um, the formula on, on this brand is actually slightly thinner than the Sally Hansen, so you will have to do a few coats. But I like those. I haven't tried this one yet. This one's new to me. Um, and this one is actually nice too. It's, oh, I should be telling you about what the, the colors are. Um, this is Power Play, I think. Really nice. And then this one is Pink Rush. We like that too. I haven't tried those two yet. Other colors that I'm looking forward to uh, wearing this summer are a um, China Glaze one I got over Christmas. I actually ordered this online. I can't remember the store. I'll probably put it in the dialogue box. Um, but it's an online store. It's super cheap, like $4. Uh, this one is called Purple Panic. So... Uh, it's neon. It's pretty similar to the ones I showed you. Only thing is, my take on China Glaze is that they have really nice colors. They give you a lot of quantity in your nail polish. But sadly, um, the formula in, in China Glaze, especially in new bottles, is just a little too thin for me. So that's one downfall that I would say with the China Glaze. Yeah, it's um, you know not a popular name brand, have really nice colors. But I find China Glaze and formula to be quite thin. And... Um, it's not a nail polish I run to um, if I have to go somewhere quickly because it doesn't dry very quickly and I have to put multiple coats and I end up smudging everything unless I'm sitting down for the evening, do the full pedicure, manicure, and then have enough time to sit down and let it dry. So that would be my only kind of critique of the China Glaze and I'll show you, I'll say the same thing throughout the other products is that uh, formula is a little thin. Two other brands I think, or one other brand I think is really good is the... Um, called Sinful Colors, and I have no idea where I got these. I think I got them in the States. Obviously, you girls in the States will have a better take on where you can get these, but these are two other summer, bright summer colors I'm looking forward to wearing. Um, this blue one is um, the Savage 950, and then this green one, which is, oh yes, and this blue one is actually matte, which is nice. This is my first matte nail polish. Again, this brand, um, I think the formula is pretty good. I didn't have too many problems with it, uh, just because it's airing a bit on the side of a pastel, so you get a lot of the powdery pigmentation. It was good. This one has a few sparkles in it. It's called um, Happy Endings 946. It's pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I, I anticipate that this one's actually almost going to be a bit um, translucent. For some reason, I can just tell it's going to be a little bit translucent, so either I'll have to put a few coats on or I'll have to have a weird translucent color. I'm kind of worried about this just because I don't know how um, a thin coat of green will look. I don't know if it's going to look like a fungus on my nails. We'll see how this one goes. Um, other ones, you know, Sinful Collection again, a nice orange color. There you go. And again, back to my Sally Hansen love this. This is actually very similar to the other one I have, but I love the color. I love Sally Hansen, so I went for that. Again, sorry, I don't have the name on that. My last one is just some random one I picked up, I think, at American Eagle. We'll see how that goes, but it's a bright neon yellow. So summarizing summer colors, obviously neons are um, in style. So, um, I mean, have fun. Summer is one of those times where you can wear um, small clothing to keep yourself cool you know you want to emulate what's outside so if you're in a tropical setting there's bright colors the sun is high in the sky creating um, really intense light so colors look appropriate and um, really exaggerated in summer so I think that's why people tend to wear brighter colors in summer